Good afternoon. I just wanted to show the Dolly Tarot Universal. I think there are several versions of the Dolly Tarot with different names. I don't know. I tried to order one on Amazon. It never came. So I canceled that. And then I thought I'd try this one because it was only like, I think it's $23 or it was. Things change fast on Amazon. That comes in this big box, which is basically too big, but it's big enough to accommodate the book that comes with it, which is in English, German, and French. And as you'll see in a second, they're all three on the same page, like every page or every other page, however it is. So that's just the box. Get rid of that. There's also three extra four extra books that I have that mention this tarot so I will show those at the end but here here's an extra card that came in this is what the backs look like over here this is what the back looks like up close as you can see maybe they're pretty tall cards they're not so different from a lot of decks in terms of width but the height they seem very tall to me so I'll put that down there and show the Fool, which is down here. Due to their height, I can't get them on the board like I usually do. Three rows of seven, but that's okay. Here's the Fool, or whatever. You can see there's extra symbology on it. I don't, I'm not really one to just have extra symbology for no reason. I'm sure it's explained in the book, maybe. But there it is. There it is, upside down. And I'll just put that. Uh, where can I put it? I'll put it over here. So you can kind of see it all at once. And then we'll look at the book. Which I finally found the publication date. It seems to be 2014. Although the other book which references this is Salvador Dali's Tarot. A book by Rachel Pollock has a date of, give me a second, 1985. And strangely, there you know, there he is. Kind of a very good self-promoter, I guess. I like his art. It makes you think a little bit. Here you can see English. Um, the first column is English. The second column appears to be German. The third column is French based on my years of French but I don't know how many pages it is it does have some of the images again it's about 200 pages copyright and stuff's at the very back just a little strange and I don't know if he did this as a tarot or it, it's art his art turned into a tarot I don't I don't know all that but you can see there's a typical let's find the major quickly there you go and then you get the three columns so kind of like a low scarab bo but different so that's the book and you're seeing the first two rows with the fool and the back going from the magician through temperance there's the hanged man strange hermit i don't like when they realistic faces are in there but that's okay it's an art deck I'm a sucker for art decks right here's what would be the last row if it fit going from devil through the world card I do like the moon card those are nice colors from back here strangely the tower card has a moon look to it hmm. that's interesting kinda Okay, here come the pentacles. I might want to speed up a little. Let's see, are they in there correctly? Yep. Sorry if there's some overlap, but because of how they are. Oh, that's, I didn't notice that before. Huh, ace through ten don't have a number or the words that's kind of nice actually he always throws in an odd bird shape or at least the cards in here seem to have that here come the 
swords. Right? Yep. Here we go. Hmm. He liked the sign big, didn't he? Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Hmm. I don't think I've ever signed anything. Of course, I'm not an artist. <laughs> hey, Picasso. I don't know if maybe that's a bull. Here come the cups. That particular image is very familiar. This is on the box. Hmm. I don't think we've seen, maybe we already saw the one that's typically seen for this deck. If not, we'll see it on the book here in a second. And here comes the last suit, which is the wands. Very green, very green, these wands. I don't know if this was altered. I would, I don't know. I mean, without reading the book or one of the many books that I have for it. And here's one of them. I think I got this eBay. I don't know. But it's by Rachel Pollock, 1985, it says. Let's see if it has the images. Yes, it does. I could have just got away with this book. I would have been fine. That seems to happen on several decks. I end up with the deck, then I find the book, then I like the book, then I don't need the deck. But that's just me. This is how many pages? Not a lot of words. Not a lot of explanation, I don't think. At least I don't remember when I... No, just kind of introduction and bam! It starts doing each card. So that's a long time ago, Rachel Pollock. <laughs> uh, I also got a Tashin book. Tashin, I believe it's pronounced right there at the bottom. These are big art like books, so they're kind of nice. I don't like dust jackets, but there's Salvador Dali with that weird little mustache. Here's one of his paintings. Here's one that is very famous, Persistence of Memory, 1931. Here's another one. And another one. And I think that's it for Dali. He got into those stick-supported people at some point. Nope, there's another one. Wow. So a lot to look at there. And that's him. So there's that one. And then the ultimate, I guess. Well, let's do this one first. Since I showed this before and then deleted the video because I didn't like how it turned out. But this is called The Art of Tarot. It's by uh, Christina Olson. I forget what year this is. 1995. And you can see here that she has a little bit about Salvador Dali and they created a tarot deck using the ideas of psychoanalysis and the visual vocabulary of surrealism. Wow. I think that's the only place where it is in here. And this is a nice little book because there's few words and lots of cards. Mm, a lot of them you know. Oh, there he is. Right? Yeah. There he is from Tarot Universal Dolly. Now it's called Tarot Universal Dolly. <laughs> These things with the names and the additions just make life, I guess some would say, interesting. <laughs> I find it kind of annoying. The, here's a big entire Tashin book devoted totally to Dolly. And I'm going to guess I marked the page that I liked. And they go into a, a lot more details in here about his paintings and what's going on in his life and all that jazz. All of these books are great from this company, Tash. But let me get the box. Let's just get the book. I can't reach the box now. Oops, sorry. I bumped this big microphone. 
but that was a quick where to put it where to put it I'll just put it over top of him that was a quick look at the Dolly Tarot Universal so with that I will say peace